And let's get into it, where the main event fight there, fight number one is a women's world title fight. Michaela Mayer, a former U.S. Olympian, goes for a world title at welterweight against Sandy Ryan of Great Britain. Mayer, a former world champion a couple of divisions down, has now lost a couple of title fights. Very interesting, very even odds. Sandy Ryan only one and a half to one on the bet U.S. line. Michaela Mayer is a plus 100 money line fighter uh, for this bout. All right, 10 round, 10 two minute round women's world title fight headlines tonight. Thoughts on this matchup and some handicapping here, Dan, to start us off. Well, TJ, this to me is just a it's a it's a fight that really could go either way when I looked at it. I mean, put put whatever the official odds are to the side in terms of the actual athletic competition between these two women. There's really not a lot to 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 pick from, in my opinion. They're both talented women. They both have a certain level of accomplishment, uh, starting with Mayer. Uh, you know, as you mentioned, she's an Olympian. She had unified world titles at 130 pounds and uh, and then moved up in weight and continued to move up in weight. She just, you know, stayed very briefly in the lightweight division, only one fight in the junior welterweight division, and went to welterweight. And she carries the weight very well. She's tall for uh, for her weight class. In any event, she's coming off of a split decision loss against Natasha Jonas. That was a really outstanding fight. A lot of people thought that she won that fight. Uh, they thought they were going to make the rematch that was in the, in the works. It didn't get done for different reasons. And uh, in looking for another bout, she ended up uh, being able to have her company top rank work with Matchroom Boxing to bring this fight at Sandy Ryan, who's with Matchroom, uh, to make the match to challenge Ryan for her title. They'll take, you know, it'll take place in New York. So it gives uh, Michaela, let's say, the home country advantage, if you will. Although Sandy has fought here in the United States once before. And Sandy Ryan uh, is a lot less experienced in terms of her professional career. Uh, but she's coming off of probably her best win, a knockout in the fourth round of Terry Harper, who had won world titles in two weight classes, although in the lower weights. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Terry Harper later in the show. Uh, and she has a draw with Jessica McCaskill, who was a top champion. That was a unification fight, but there was a draw. But a lot of people thought that Sandy got ripped off in that decision, that most people thought that she won that fight, myself included. Um, they both have pretty decent resumes. It's it's a tough it's a tough pick. And so when I was sort of thinking about it, uh, you know, and, I'll, and we'll, I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the uh, outside the ring stuff going on between these two women that's kind of made this into a more of a, of a personal situation rather than just business of who's going to win the title. Um, you know, I, I like Michaela in terms of her, the, her size, her, her jab. Um, I think just overall, maybe slightly better skills. Oh, both of these women were, were top amateur fighters. Right. Uh, and again, with the odds being what they are, I just was like, you know what? I think Ma Michaela, she, she got, I got ripped off or, or, or a lot of people thought she got ripped off against, Jonas in the UK in the last fight. Uh, I think turnabout is fair play, and she wins this fight. I and I don't think it's a knockout. Neither one of these women, uh, in my mind, is a big puncher. Even though Sandy is coming off of a stoppage victory against Harper uh, in her last fight, to me, it's got ten rounds written all over it. And I think uh, you know, Michaela, maybe uh, maybe not by a domination, but what gets the win could be a close fight. But I like her to have her hand raised and win the decision. And again, she's been in these big moments before, both in the United States and, as you mentioned, in the U.K., and I agree with you. I thought she wa uh, won that Natasha Jonas fight earlier this year, but part of it was Jonas was fighting in her home uh, in, in, uh, in England, and everything she did, the crowd roared and approved, and anything Mayer did uh, was met with, uh, with – so it's going to be the opposite, is my point here right. in New York for this matchup coming up again tonight. So you and I will agree on, on fight number one. I think this is Michaela Mayer. You bring up the great point, and we always talk about this with women's boxing. Rarely is there a knockout in a prominent fight. Sometimes it happens. Occasionally it happens, but you can't count on that. So you and I are both going to go decision here because it pays a little better for the decision prop than on the straight money line at plus 100. Now, interestingly, you and I handicap all the time here on BetUS TV. We both took the over, but look at having to lay minus 800. So from a strategy standpoint, if you're handicapping and you're actually wagering here, that may not make as much sense to put money on the over. If you believe like we do in one side or the other, we both believe in Mayer, it's probably better to load up on that than waste trying to make anything on minus 800 odds, correct? Yeah, no, that's true enough. I mean, but again, uh, like I strongly believe that, we'll put it like this, if Sandy Ryan wins the fight, I think it's possible she could do it by a stoppage, 
But I don't really believe that too strongly because I've watched Michaela's entire career. I was at her pro debut. I've been in a bunch of her fights, watched them all on on the streams or the television. Uh, and she's got a good chin. She's never been, in my opinion, you've never seen her really um, hurt. And she's fought some women that are really solid punchers. She fought Alicia Baumgartner. You know, she has fought, uh, you know, against Natasha Jonas. I'm not saying that she's a huge puncher, but she's fought top-level women. Maiva Ma- Ma- Hamadouche in their unification fight was an all-out war. She took a lot of solid punches in that fight. Uh, and she's not a wavered. So I just don't see there being a knockout. And on the other end of things, Mayer's never shown herself. She's a good boxer uh, and has that great background, but she's not a big puncher either. And so I feel like this is destined to go the distance. And so when I pick, uh, even at minus 800, you know, I'm not saying you would go and like bet the rent on it or anything like that. But that seems right. like, a, you know, I don't, I don't really quite understand why the number is that number at minus 800. They just believe it's a distance fight. They want to tease you. They want yeah. you to bet that under eight and a half rounds. No, I, saying, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't touch the under. Saying, no, I know. do that. Uh, and again, elaborate here because we have some legit drama. I mean, let me just say this. I got teenage daughters in my house. I got a wife and I got drama. And then they, and you know what they do? They watch these reality shows, and we got more drama on the reality. I got too much drama in my life. We got a reality show real right life. here with this. We have, I, I, that's why I enjoy boxing and the masculinity and the testosterone and doing this with you. But we have real drama with the corner person here with Mayor and Ryan. Explain that real quick, briefly here as the backdrop. Okay, so when Michaela turned professional, she was with the trainer, Al Mitchell, still with him. He's one of the great trainers. He trained. Uh, the United States Olympic team back in 1996. He's been a professional trainer, probably best known for the handling of uh, the former junior middleweight world champion and gold medalist from the Olympics, David Reed. But he's been involved with lots of fighters and certainly at the amateur level, a top guy. Uh, and now that he's gotten a little bit older. He's not the guy in the ring doing the mitts and, and the hands-on work uh, with, with the physical stuff. And that he left to Kay Karoma, young trainer, has worked with different fighters, worked has worked with uh, – uh, Shakur Stevenson, for example, he works, you know, with a number of guys. Um, in any event, uh, he's been in Michaela's corner for most of her career, you know, or at least part of the team as an assistant. And when Sandy Ryan came over to the United States uh, after a recent fight to sort of get some better sparring and get some uh, better training here in the United States, work with different trainers, she started working with uh, Karoma and one of the other uh, guys that was with that team with Michaela. In, in her corner. And Michaela's perspective was, look, I'm at lightweight, but I'm going to be moving up to welterweight. I see Sandy Ryan as an eventual opponent. Now, Sandy and Michaela both acknowledged that even though they're not like best friends, they had a friendly, cordial relationship, knowing each other from the amateurs. And Michaela's perspective was, hey, if you're going to work with my trainer, you might want to give me a call up, say, what do you think? Here's the deal. Right. And when she found out that she was working with her trainer and never got the heads up either from her trainer or from uh, from Sandy Ryan, she took that very personally and then uh, fired uh, those folks and made it personal in this fight. And then now she's working with a, a fighter, na- uh, a trainer named Kofi John Tua, who in the most of the early 2000s was one of the top junior middleweight contenders. And now he has replaced Karoma in the corner and Sandy is, gotcha. uh, is there. Now, the, the funny thing about it is from what I'm told from top rank, according to like the way the corners are set up for the fight, uh, Karoma has another fighter on the undercard, but won't actually be in. He's there and he's worked with her preparing for the fight, but he won't actually be in the corner uh, for Sandy's fight. Now, maybe that will change between now and the time the fight starts. But the point is, they've made that into a personal thing. You, you're sneaky, as Michaela said. You stole my trainer. Sandy is like, you know, what are you talking about? So it's become like this personal thing. We have like real we life stuff, real yeah. drama, like the real housewives drama, except it's real drama here. You stole my man. You stole my trainer. You stole my, my house, my car, whatever. Uh, all right. So we'll see. That's part of the backdrop. And again, we emphasize this fight is tonight as we do this live Friday night. New York's Madison Square Garden Theater, main event, ESPN Top Rank Boxing. We lock it in one more time. Dan and I both think Michaela Mayer wins and wins by decision. We're also, by extension, taking the over. You see you got to lay minus 800 for that. Let's see what happens in that main event. 